welcome to yoga. My name is Emily and I'll be taking you through a vinyasa flow. Hopefully you can see most of me with, um, with the phone camera that I'm using. Remember to listen to your body and you are welcome to always take a break if you're feeling overwhelmed or if anything hurts, gently come out of the pose. You don't wanna injure yourself during yoga. All right, let's start out just opening up through the chest, sit up nice and tall. Imagine there's a balloon attached um, to the crown of your head, lifting you up and then pull the shoulder blades back and down with a nice open chest. Let's take a few breaths here. Let's add some arms to that. So inhale up, exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale up, exhale open. Inhale up, exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale up, exhale open. I'm gonna gently listen to the right shoulder stretching out through the vertebrae here in the upper part of the spine. And now up and over to the other side. center. I'm going to release my arms behind me and just open up a little deeper through the chest with a stretch here. Let's open up now a little bit through the hips. So taking the right leg over the left, I'm going to pull this leg towards my body as I try to root down with my hips, getting a stretch right here in the hip. open through the hips. Okay, let's get the other hip now. Cross it over and first we're going to just pull this leg towards us as we try to root down with the hip. I'm just going to play around a little bit, coming forward. I feel this on the outside of the hip. And I'm going to twist a little bit and come forward again. this pose and let's do a little windshield wiper with the legs and we'll massage that area we just stretched. I think I'm going to 
gonna move my mat around the other way. There we go. All right, coming on to all fours. Let's do a little bit of a, um, of, of a lower core exercise. I really like this for developing that lower part of the, the core here. So we're gonna press, the bottom of our foot's called your instep, this top part of the foot. And we're gonna press into that, lifting the knees up here. And then release, lift, and release. Going. Lower the knees down, we're gonna do some cat and cow stretches. So inhale, look up, and exhale round. Keep going. Let's do another round of those core exercises. So pressing the feet into the mat, you're gonna lift those knees up. And even if they don't quite come up, if you don't quite have the strength, the action of trying to lift them and engage them is going to strengthen that core. And eventually you'll be able to lift. break in child's pose so bring those hips back and now opening up through the chest again release your arms behind you and stretch up and over now I'm going to come into rabbit pose I'll show this from the side. So I'm gonna lift onto the crown of the head and bring the arms up. This is a great pose if you struggle with anxiety at all, because you're kind of wrapped in a ball. But it also brings the head below the heart, which allows your body to calm down, get blood flow back to the brain. And release back down into child's pose. Let's make our way to downward facing dog. Let's come up onto all fours, curl the toes under, lift the knees up and press back. Let's walk out our dog here. Bend the knees forward, we're gonna to come to the top of the mat. I'll come more to the middle of the mat. Inhale all the way up. Actually, I'll come back so you can see me. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, exhale, bow down. Inhale, halfway lift, hands towards the front of the mat or on your shins. Exhale, release. 
Inhale up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bow down. Inhale, look up. Exhale, release. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bow down. And let's stay in this forward fold for a little bit. Can we play around with it? Do some finger painting here. And you're welcome to keep those knees quite bent here if your hamstrings are tight. And just release. I'm going to cross my arms here. Coming into ragdoll. Sweep all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bow down. Inhale, look up. And we're going to make our way to plank, maybe walking forward or walking back. Rock forward to plank, and we're going to release down. You can drop your knees here. Release all the way down to the belly. Untuck the toes. Inhale, lift up. Low cobra. And now let's make our way up and back to downward facing dog again. Walk it out one more time. All right, inhaling the right leg up. We're gonna exhale, step it through. We're gonna make our way all the way to warrior two. So bring that back foot down and come up and back to warrior two. Okay, from warrior two, I'm gonna come into a pose called skandasana. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is bend this back leg and stretch forward the front leg and I'm gonna Stretch towards that front foot. And from Skandasana, I'm going to come into an extended side angle towards the back of my mat. So coming all the way up, I'm going to extend up and over towards the back of my mat. And I'm gonna come all the way to the front of my mat again, coming into a low lunge. Step back, rock forward, lower to my belly, untuck my toes and lift, and make my way up and back to downward facing dog. Let's try the same thing on the other side. Inhale the left leg up, exhale, step it through. Let's make our way up to layer two. From where to, we're going to come into our skandasana, our side lunge. So I'm going to straighten this front leg and bend the back knee and then reach towards this front foot. So this is a little bit awkward and you may need to be, oops, you may need to be higher up like this. You may not be able to quite reach for the floor here. Right from here, let's transition to an extended side angle on the back of the mat. So I'm gonna open up and reach up and back towards the back of my mat. And come back to the front of the mat, low lunge, step back, 
rock forward, lower, untuck the toes and lift and press up and back to downward facing dog. Let's do that a few more times. Inhale the right leg up, exhale step it through, coming up to warrior two. And now we're going to transition to our side lunge. So I'm going to bend the back leg and straighten the front leg. And you can stay up high if you want. I'm going to reach towards that front foot. And now I'm going to do a different transition. From here I'm going to come into a um, standing splits. So bending this front leg, I'm going to bring my weight forward and then hop that back foot up. And now I'm gonna hop it back down. Hop back down and come back into my skandasana. And now making my way to an extended side angle at the back of my mat. coming all the way forward, low lunge, step back, rock forward, lower, and lift, and make your way up and back, downward facing dog. Left leg floats up, step it through, back foot comes down, making our way to warrior two. From warrior two, we're gonna to transition to that low lunge, okay? So bend the back leg and straighten forward towards that front leg. Okay, from here, we're gonna add that standing splits. So we're gonna bend the front leg and lift the back foot up. And now release down, bend back into that skandasana, and let's make our way to an extended side angle, cartwheeling all the way open to the back of the mat. And cartwheel back to low lunge, step back, rock forward, lower, Untuck the toes and lift, and make your way up and back. Downward facing dog. Okay, let's do this a few more times. Right leg comes up, step it through. Make your way up to warrior two. Bending back and reaching forward. Okay, and now, you can use this leg to hop if you want, like a spring, or you can move more slowly and gently. And now coming back, I'm gonna transition back to my skandasana, reaching towards that front foot. And now reach back, extended side angle. And cartwheel down, low lunge. Step back, rock forward, lower, and lift, and press up and back, downward facing dog. Left leg comes up, step or help it through, cartwheel up and open, warrior two. And now from warrior two, I'm gonna bend this back leg and stretch forward. Coming into Skandasana. Okay, now I'm going to use this back foot here as a spring to come into standing splits. And release down. I'm going to straighten this front leg again, coming back into my lunge. And you could walk all the way back here rather than cartwheeling if you want. So I'm going to cartwheel. Coming into extended side angle. And then make my way all the way forward. 
Step back. Rock forward. And let's hold here for a minute. Holding our plank. Let's drop our knees and take a little breather. Bring my knees nice and wide and stretch back into child's pose. And then we'll do a couple more times our flow on each side. Just catch your breath here. And let's come back into that rabbit pose. So bring those hips forward and the knees back parallel, coming onto the crown of the head. Extend the arms up and overhead. And release. Let's make our way to downward dog and we'll do our flow two more times on each side. Inhale the right leg up. Exhale, step it through, back foot comes down. Make your way up to warrior two. And now, skandasana, stretching forward. You can stay up high if you like, if you prefer, or if that's what you're able to do. Okay, from here, we're gonna use that back leg as a spring. Spring up, lifting that leg up. And let's come back down. Stretch back, bending that leg. And now let's extend up and over to the back. And cartwheel all the way forward. Step back. Rock forward. Lower. Lift up. And make your way up and back to downward facing dog. Inhale the left leg up, exhale, step it through, back foot comes down, up to warrior two. And now extending towards that front leg. And using this back leg now as a spring, you're going to pop yourself up in the standing splits. Lower back down and walking back, straightening that front leg. I'm going to show this just kind of walking around and up and over into extended side angle. And one more time on each side. Step back, rock forward. Let's come to plank. Follow the breath down, inhale up, and make your way up and back to downward facing dog. Right leg comes up, exhale, step it through. Come all the way up, warrior two. And now, come forward, skandasana. And now using that back leg as a spring, hop forward. And then come back down. And now I'll walk this side again. Walk all the way to the back and then lift up and over. Cartwheel coming forward. Step back. Rock forward. Lower. Lift and come up and back to downward facing dog. Float the left leg up, step it through, back foot comes down, cartwheel up and open. And now bending that back leg, coming into your coiled spring here, you're gonna press that leg into the ground to take flight. Bring this back foot down again and walk back. And now we're gonna walk all the way around, making our way to extended side angle. And cartwheel. 
cartwheel down, step back, rock forward, lower, and lift. And make your way up and back to downward facing dog. Okay, we're gonna practice some balancing poses now. So let's come into first dancer. Let me see if you can see me from here. Okay, this is a great pose to modify too. You can use something, put your hand on something like a chair or the wall to help balance you if you need a little bit more help. So bringing the right arm up, I'm gonna balance into the right leg and then reach around for the inside of the left foot. And I'm holding on to the instep here. And then, oops, I'm a little unsteady, so I'm gonna start over. <laughs> Balance again. And press the foot into the hand in that back foot. Let's try the other side. Just shake it out. Bring your weight into the left side. Reach around for the right foot. And then press that back foot into the hand. to heart center. Let's try tree pose now. So bringing your foot into the calf or all the way up to the inner thigh. You're gonna find steadiness and then you can grow your tree. the other side. So you don't have to have your leg all the way up, especially if you have slippery pants that might just get frustrating. Chandrasana half moon pose. This will be a variation on the standing splits that we did earlier. So gently coming down, bring your hands down to the mat and you're going to float up that left leg first, okay? And then from here, you can try actually just walking those hands towards the foot if you want to practice balancing that way. Or you can also try lifting up that same arm as the leg to create a balancing half moon. And eventually you can have, whoops, just be balancing on the one leg, but I'm not quite there yet. All right, release. Hopefully a little more gracefully than I just did. And let's try the other side. So lifting up that right leg. You can try just playing with balance here. Maybe just trying to bring your hands towards that ankle. Or you can try, whoops, peeling open as I'm doing. Each 
each one of those balancing poses one more time. So inhale back up, bring the hands to heart center. And let's try dancer pose first. So bringing the weight into the right side, I'm gonna reach around for the left foot and then press the foot into the hand to create this pose. the other side. One trick to these balancing poses is really pull your navel to spine, really pull that belly in because your core is designed to help you balance. So if you can really hold that tight, it'll help, help you to hold the pose. Try our tree pose again. Find something to focus your gaze on softly and then grow that tree. Usually one side's a little more wobbly than the other for most folks. Oops, this is my wobbly side. back into our standing splits. So starting with bringing the right leg up. I'm going to peel open. Let's release on this side and we're going to try the other side and traditionally I think the gaze goes up during this but that makes me too dizzy so I keep my gaze down. Lifting this leg up, I'm going to peel up. haven't already. All right, I'm going to come down into onto my mat and I'm going to stretch a little bit more through the body and gate pose. So this is kind of like that skandasana that we were doing. Extend one leg forward and the back knees bent. You can have a cushion underneath it and we're going to stretch forward towards the front of the mat. bring this leg in and come into a modified camel pose, hands on my back, stretching up and back. And this may be as far as you come, that's just fine. Or you may reach all the way back towards those heels. And let's release that pose. Okay, now bring the back leg towards the back of the mat. We're going to stretch up and back towards that straight leg. And coming 
back up, let's try our Cobra pose. And I'm just gonna do the modified version this time. And release, let's come into rabbit pose. So stretching the arms forward. I'm gonna come onto the crown of the head. And stretch up and back. All right, let's stretch a little more through the upper back. So we're gonna do a thread the needle. So extend left arm forward, right arm to the side. You're gonna thread one arm underneath the other. And I like to lift this top arm up and bring it around to the small of my back. That may not feel good. You can just keep it there if you'd like. Now we're going to release and we'll come into like a prayer pose stretch. So just stretching forward, bringing those hips back and stretching through the arms here. Let's release this coming forward. Bring this right hand forward and the left arm out to the side and you're gonna thread the left arm underneath. Maybe bringing this right arm up and around. Coming back to center, let's come into starfish pose. So come down onto your belly, extend both arms out, and let's um, stretch up and over to the left side first. So bring your right hand right up to your chest here, and you're gonna come up onto your side. And I'm bending that top leg to help support me. You can also have your feet parallel. This is just a little bit deeper, bringing the leg behind. Let's come over to the other side. So bring this right arm to the side and you're gonna bring the left arm right by your chest and then just stretch up and over. And I like to bring this hand to the small of my back and just rest my head. You can put a pillow underneath your neck if that feels better. 
You shouldn't feel any stinging, zinging pain here. If you're feeling pain, please gently come out of the pose. Gently coming out of this. Let's come into child's pose. From child's pose, we're gonna come into a really deep hip opener. You may want to limit yourself in this pose if it doesn't feel good or choose a different type of hip opener. You could do pigeon or um, a figure four stretch on your mat. So I'm bringing my feet kind of gently out to the side here and I'm gonna start to walk my hips back. And for some of you, this may be as far as you come, okay? Um, you really wanna stretch out here through the front of the hip and you're able, you can also ugh, gently come all the way down. this pose into a more modified one because it's feeling a little bit much on my lower back. And release. Send your right legs out in front of you. We're gonna do a counter stretch here. So come up into staff pose and just lean forward towards your feet. With each exhale, you can release just a little bit more. And gently sit up. Walk your feet up and we're going to gently come into Supta Baddha Konasana. Or, no, sorry. Baddha Konasana, so we're not laying down. And just gently open through those hips. Extend a little bit further, stretching my arms forward. All right, let's come on to our 
our backs for our final resting pose. Gently make your way down. Extend your legs. Close up towards the ceiling and just relax. directions and now hug your knees to your chest. Let's rock a little bit and roll it along to whichever side is calling to you. your way into a seated position. Bring your hands to heart center and your thumbs to forehead center. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a beautiful day.